Hello, so today we're gonna to be opening this HP Pavilion X360 convertible 15 DQ2000. So we're just gonna flip it up, but that's one of the best ways to open it. Usually they usually come with um, a, a rubber that's flapped over the nuts. So I kind of took mine out. <laughs> Honestly, the rest kind of fell out. So, I don't know what exact screw this is, but this belongs to my friend and I also have some of this. So, I think it's, um, just open it up and for you to see the numbers. We're gonna be using this one, so that's a zero, I guess. So, that's the one that works for it. Yep. Yeah. We're using this. And if you've watched my previous video, you would see that um, in the RAM, I currently have an 8 gig and a 4 gig. So I want to take the 4 gig out and replace it with this, the crucial um, 16 gig. And in case you're wondering how to um, find out what type of RAM to use or what model, what speed and everything, I already have a separate video that kind of goes through how to find out all that information. But today I'm just going to be opening this up and giving you a look and how your computer looks like and certain things you should look out for and what you should do so i'm just gonna have this take a look at the ram i'm upgrading it to is this one so we're gonna start off by taking all of this out start out with this first girl. So now that we've taken out all of the screws, um, we're gonna be using this. Try to use this even though it's chipped on my nails, or maybe even this. The last time that I opened this, I actually used a floss. <laughs> I used a floss to rip it out, but um, we're just gonna be careful. So um, the way we're gonna open it is we have to be very, very mindful of the control or the mouse pad. So I'll put my hand in here and pull this out. So I'll literally put my hand on the mouse and yank it out. Or you can just do it this other way, but so like you don't destroy the mouse pad. Just gonna pry this round. Very much there's nothing on this end so I'm just gonna put this to the side uh, this is where your battery is so some people would um, have you take your battery out while you're upgrading your RAM but the downside to that is that once you take your battery out you would always have to reset your BIOS and um, from what I've heard, it's not always really safe, especially if your computer has an expired warranty for you to um, change it back to the BIOS. So this is where the RAM is. It's in this uh, metal container. But before you go in and rip it off, you have to be careful, especially on this part, because if you can see, there's a wire that's in here that's connected to the fan and the tape is covered over it. So if you yank this out, you might be able to rip this wire off so if this is your first time taking it off you will have to be extra patient because this glue is very very strong and sticky but i already took it out so this is the second time so it shouldn't be as difficult as it should be so uh, i'm just gonna be using this very tiny screwdriver my nails and well pretty much anything possible to take it off uh so here we go
to take this out just carefully put this to the side and just use essentially that was like a little spark <laughs> we'll put this down <laughs> like a little spark you, you're not a spark no guy just calm down <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little spark don't worry just take this out and um and then we have the ram so So this is the 4 gig RAM right here as you can see is exactly what it said when we checked it on the other video Samsung 4 gig DDR4 speed of 3200 and you know pretty much so um, I know I, I didn't say how I took it off because I was trying to figure it out because I've done it before but um, essentially well, I'm gonna be leaving this but essentially what I did was um, I just pushed down and I use my hands to open it out wide and it just pops off. It's pretty easy, you don't have to like apply pressure and I think the way it goes in is pretty much the same way. You just have to make sure like, as you can see, there's a there's a little bit space like, yeah. Make sure it lines up with um this part and then you just slide in all the way. You push and you hear a clip and the same way as well. It's fixed in so you take it out you push down make sure like you open up this a little bit and it should come right out and you take it out and most people usually say you should try as much as possible to avoid touching any of this i don't know why but like it's better to you know just not to touch it if you can than to touch it and figure out like that's the reason why the ram wasn't working so we're gonna be replacing it with this. Hopefully this goes in smoothly and there are no issues. So essentially it's gonna go in the same way the RAM came. So this is the Crucial by Micron RAM, 16 gig DDR4. So then with a speed of 3200, exactly the same, just a different manufacturer and um, different speed um size capacity so um as you can see it's pretty much similar to this essentially in terms of size i believe it's almost the same in terms of size yeah it's pretty much the same if i'm being honest so this is the four gig out it's gonna go and we're gonna put this and i think it says something in here about uh yeah so the beautiful thing it actually gives you a uh, specific model in case you want to replace what was in there before and yeah so we're just gonna go in and put this in make sure it is aligned mm. voila we've upgraded our arm um, just gonna go and put this in so I'm going to flip it the other way because it's, it's easier for me. I just turned it that way to have a better view and to be able to adjust this properly. So this obviously goes in here. And remember, you have to be careful because this is connected to the fan. And you shouldn't want to rip that wire out because it's going to cost you a lot. And you have to get in probably like a new fan and have all of that change. Put in this, covered, it's sealed. Go in and apply the tape again. In the tip, I've obviously lost its thickness, but you should do the trick. Put in, take this, and we're gonna put this back gently. Yes. Just a little bit pressure to make sure it's enclosed. Yeah. And we're good to go. So one fascinating thing before I put this out back is to give you a quick look for anything you might want to change in case you have the same laptop and you're wondering where is where or what does what do. 
so you wouldn't have to open up here since this is already open just to give you an overview i believe this is for an hhd so i have one at home currently recording at my friend's place um so that would just obviously go in here you'll put in your hhd and i believe the connector goes in here also so um we're good to go we're just gonna put all of this right back starting our computer and we'll give it a try hopefully this works fingers crossed So we're just gonna go control X and we're gonna go to tax manager. Let's bring this down, tax manager. And from there, we'll be able to see if our memory has been upgraded. So before my computer used to run a little bit slow when I was opening Chrome and all of that, we're gonna test all of that out right now. And which used to take about like 60% of memory. Now I'm good. I'm so happy to see it's at 24%. I know it's just starting up. Um, that's a good sign. So now, as we can see, it has upgraded from 12 to 23.8, which is essentially approximately 24 gig because we put in uh, a 16 and an 8. So that should be one. Wait. Yeah, 24. And <laughs> my SSD still remains at two, uh, 256. I don't feel much of a pressure since I haven't used most of it and I'm not having problems with that. I'm so happy to SSD, but maybe I should make a, a separate video on for HD. So, and this is everything else. As you can see, going smooth, perfect. I am so happy. So the M2 slots I use with a speed of 3,200 committed about 34 gig right now. That's all my space. Six gig is being in use, which I'm guessing is for the first uh, slot. Available 16 gig and I still have a total of uh, capacity of I believe 139 from the previous video we can check. And so what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be running as many applications as possible just to see uh, how much or if any difference we made to the computer. And of course, we're going to open up the search engine, see how much it takes or the sound it makes for my fan to again. So Open up the PC out. You can see it says 24 gig RAM. Was so happy. I am so happy. This one, according to Prime, 24 gig RAM. Everything is in place. And um, let 
we're gonna check the status and see how much is currently in use tax manager still 38 still not up to the 62 we would use usually by this stage um my fan would have been making so much noise and i would have been able to see and um before since it was 12 and nine is just been used out of it so that was about more than 50 percent of my run being used and now it's currently at 30 years with that much being open you know we're just gonna go for overkill open up a game let's see what it does let me open up vs code oh. vs code open up spoil Let's see how much is still here. Now it's at, now it's about it's at twelve. Now it's at twelve. So usually by now, my my computer would have been running so so slow because I would have used the maximum capacity allowed. But now it's just at fifty percent. So I advise everyone to always change their RAM in case if you have problems or instead of just getting a new computer, you can always change your RAM, you have the game running in the background, you have so many apps running that would have not run before my old system, and this is so good. So guys, that's the end of the video, hopefully you enjoyed it, please give this a subscribe, a like if it was helpful, and also if you have any comments, please drop down your comment and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. I'm not a professional, just a guy that loves watching YouTube video and getting things done, so hopefully I'll be able to help you with that. I enjoyed your rest and make sure you check out the previous videos where that talks and goes deep more into details on how to find the exact one for your PC and how to get it done. Peace.